What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Coming to you live. Live and direct. UniV Soul MC at Radio Rec LLC. And right there, what you hear in the background is a little groovy groove I made, right? I call it 2L. Yeah, man. I haven't started recording yet today. You know, I figured I'm going to make some new ways with this podcast thing. I think, um, you know, managing my own um, single member LLC. I think people want to know about that. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't want to just know about being a voice actor and a music artist or an MC. I think when it, they want to know about entrepreneurship too, right? They want to know about running their own business. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm going to talk about. But, you know, just the first order of business is the family business, if you know what I'm saying. So you got to have that right first. So in order for me to have that right first, I tried to... Uh, focus on my health. You know, I, I neglected that a lot of times when I was pursuing all these things, what, over two decades now. And I always put my health last, I, I want to say, you know. I mean, 20 years ago, I just, I guess I took my health for granted, right? Because, you know, you're young and you're moving around, you're drinking, you're, you're just eating late, you're doing all those things. And as you get older, you realize that, you know, you're just working and working and working. You might be sitting down or something. And, um, you're just not taking care of yourself, you know? So, you know, I went, I went for the first time in about 10 years, I went to the doctor, yo, um, this year, you know, with all this thing, I got, you know, different people in my family are not doing so well. And, um, you know, and there's a lot of this issue with the COVID and different things. So, you know, I said, let me go to the doctor. And it was crazy. Cause it's been like 10 years, yo. And, um, you know, when I got to the doctor and stuff like that, they were like, um, Yo, you got high blood pressure. You you got pre-diabetes and you got high cholesterol. And I was like, you know, and they went to give me a pill and stuff. And I'm like, yo, hold up a second, man. You know, the same way that I I tied up my bootstraps and uh, you know, and I learned and I learned with my my lawyer and I learned with my accountant and I learned through trial and error. And I just, you know, and and um I got myself educated. The same way I I got myself educated and got right with my business. I was like, when the doctor hit me with the information, I was like, yo, give me a chance to get myself right. Cause now that I got the information, I could do things. You know what I'm saying? I could do things. I could do something about it. And so that was about six, seven months ago. And then I just recently uh, checked in with the doctor. It was like, yo, your blood pressure's down. Right now, you don't have to worry about no pre diabetes and stuff like that. And your cholesterol is looking good. They hit me with a nutritionist and stuff like that. I'm like, like 25 pounds down. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to uh, rewind this beat because I like this beat. But yeah, so they, um, so they, they was like, yo, everything is good right now. You don't need any pills. And if you really want to stay healthy, you know, just stay thin, stay thin, you know, and I'm not saying you got to go, you know, starve yourself, be skinny. I don't, I don't really do that anyways. I don't believe in that. That's what they gave you the nutritionist for, right? It's like your half of your plate got to be vegetables. You need that protein. And then you need those grains and stuff like that. Stay away from the sugars. You you know the usual. But it's amazing how it's amazing how you could get down with, you know, you don't need those pills because I got, you know, like I said, 25 pounds down and, and we knocked all that stuff out, you know. So we just going to keep doing the thing. So I just came from CrossFit earlier. And I'm telling you what, that shit whipped my ass. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So it, it, it whipped me up real quick. And I tried to, you know, do some, some, uh, some active things. My brother invited me out to uh, what is that? The urban, the urban, um, the urban challenge with some obstacles and stuff like that. So I, I do a couple things because before, like I said, I'll just get lost in the music and zone out and sit around for hours just doing music. You know, drinking coffee, drinking alcohol. I mean, I still drink my coffee, I still drink my alcohol, but I'm just not. You know, what I'm saying not moving around much, not doing it, eating sweets and stuff like that. But just making beats, eating sweets. You know, all that good stuff. But um. <laughs> I mean, you got to put that help first. You can't run a business if your 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 body's not strong. You can, but uh, at what cost? Because all that bread that you build up would just go to medical bills. You know what I'm saying? So, and I say all that to say because you know I'm I'm making a new way with this podcast thing. I think I'm a I'm gonna see if I can be consistent with it. You know, I go in and out like I you know we talked about this before, but you know because I got other things going on. But I think this is a good addition to what I got going on, and I think that people want to know about the business. They want to know about what do I do to maintain? What about my ups and downs? Well, you know, things that I'm learning, 
And, you know, um, because and the reason I think that people will like it, because I have these conversations, you know, when when I go out and stuff like that, we have these conversations and stuff like that. So I'm going to put it in a format that uh, you can get it any time that you want. And right now, my main thing about the business is staying healthy. I got to keep my voice healthy because that's how I make my bread. I got to keep my mind healthy and sharp. Right. Because I always got to stay on top of my game and I got to keep my body healthy because, yo, it's like long days, long nights, man. Sometimes early mornings, you know, sometimes late nights. But, you know, this is how we get it done. You know, and, and you know, I'll tell you like this. Ain't nobody else going to do it for you. So you got to be able to do it yourself until people come around and they believe in what you're doing. So I guess that would be my tip of the day. You got to do it yourself, baby. <laughs> you got to do it yourself till somebody come along and, and you know. They ready to mess with you. Let's listen to that beat one more time. I'll play that beat one more time. I, after this, I'm going to get out of here. So I just wanted to hit you with something short. But, yeah, so I, I went in there, did the, you know, did, like I said, did the CrossFit joint today. Some double unders, you know, when you whipping the uh, rope real quick. And then uh, that was with front squats. Uh, and then that was like as many reps as possible. I only got three of them joints. And then after that, the second part was, uh, singles, you know what I'm saying? For a minute, jump rope. I like to go to the beat. Um, and then with that, that was the deadlifts as many as possible. Shit. I think I did like seven, eight reps. Uh, I might have to increase the weight or something. But, uh, you know, after I get off, after this beat runs this third time and stuff like that, you know, I just wanted to share this beat with you and talk real quick. But after this, uh, you know, I, I've been answering some people through my Fiverr and stuff like that. So I'm going to go and uh, make some beats, address these folks. It looks like the voiceover situation is slow today. Some people asking about vocals and stuff like that. So I'm going to see if I can lock in some of these deals because I'm going to tell you what, last couple months have been slow. I'm just trying to figure out my situation, how to get this bread back up. So I'll probably work on my skills, always working on my skills to bring value to the table. Then my cousin Mike, who's an actor, he hit me with some information, you know, um, you know, some classes and stuff like that so I can get some of my acting skills up. I'm always working on my craft. That's how I stay on top of my business. It's either that or you can go and get a job and, you know, you got to get that on the job training. You could do that. You could train yourself, invest in yourself because you are your best investment or you could just do it for somebody else. It's really up to you, man. And I choose to do it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm doing it for myself, I'm doing it for my family. And like I said, the first order of business is the family business. Univiso at Radio Rec LLC. Univiso MC at Radio Rec LLC. That's right. After all, the, you know, before all these things, I'm an MC first. I grab that microphone and I do my thing, whether it's in the booth or on the stage. And we trying to get, you know, we've been doing the thing in the booth and we trying to get back to the stage. So, you know, I'm going to stay on super, super on point. I hope uh, this hits you where we're supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Help you get through your day. And I'm going to go through my day. Who knows? Uh, today's Monday. Happy Monday. You know, maybe I'll check in again tomorrow. This seems like a little cool vibe. Maybe I'll find another beat that I got. We'll run it. Let the beat play. I'll just talk real quick. You know what I'm saying? I like listening to the beat, though. You know what I'm saying? I think I have to write something to this. Let's let it play for a second. Let's check it out. And like I said before, I think the last episode, man, don't be afraid to leave me a voicemail over here. Like if you go to the Anchor app, you can leave me a voicemail, you know, and I can play it live if you want. If not, you can call me at 646-494-5331. 646-494-5331. You know, leave me a voicemail. 